Thailand field in uh, Thailand as well is seen like a is like a global brand coming from a British heritage. The overall design and look and the feel of the motorcycle, everybody loves to uh, flaunt what they own. So classics are loved by people who are slightly, I'd say, 35, 40 plus. They love the overall design. They they love to go in communities together on rides. Then uh, GT is loved by youngsters more. It's more peppy. It's more racy stuff. And Interceptor is is one of the top selling model. I mean, a lot of communities, clubs uh, who are intercept, interceptor only clubs, which which honestly we are we are quite lucky to have a very passionate customer base. They love overall uh, overall feel of the brand, inclusivity of the brand. Focus on custom. Custom Thailand is the best market for customs. I think I think uh, to me it's world's best customs are are done in Southeast Asia, and Thailand is definitely a key market in that. So. Customizers love the brand and the product because it's easy for them to customize it. People want to they just buy the motorcycle. They want to do something specific with the motorcycle. They feel they feel great in uh, sitting there along with the custom builders and doing it. So Royal Enfield brings that into people, right? They, that they you know never even knew they had before. They Royal Enfield customers get more passionate after they buy the yeah. bike. That's right, we shift from all small motorcycles and scooters, small capacity. When they come here, natural feeling is we have, we have bought a big bike now. So that's what the natural feeling they explain. And they also uh, they also start looking for which communities to join. So special interest group, somebody who loves to ride a lot, somebody who loves to go on food trails, stuff like that. So that's a natural, natural inclination is of I bought this motorcycle just to belong to this community. That's a natural... Uh, Inclination. So that's that's what is happening a lot in Thailand. There is something that uh, used to be reserved only to the very premium brands like Harley Davidson, yeah. but now this community, this uh, whole engagement has been brought down to common man and to everyone who aspires to ride. Yeah, and that is something that Royal Enfield has enabled yeah. across the so world. So premium or no premium, that we understand less. What we understand is people love to ride and we help them ride and, and have fun with their friends. That's what we mostly focus on. So what does Royal Enfield compare with uh, when, when people try to buy a Royal Enfield bike? What do they compare with in Thailand? What is the competition here I don't like? Think so. I don't think so. They compare with anything specific like that. What they definitely look for is within Royal Enfield, what do I buy? I mean, whether I will I do more of a, a city then I'll, I'll buy this and this. If I will go more often to uh, off-roading or, or between two cities via back roads, then probably Himalayan is a good choice. Somebody who does highways a lot, Interceptor is quite quite uh, popular there. And somebody who needs a versatile thing, Classic is super good. Classic. I think you have the entire range covered up. Oh yeah, it's, right. it's, it's like fully, And it's very easy to choose. Very easy to choose. Yeah. Everything is quite powerful yeah. and uh, they are all feature rich. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asai.